Nudity wasn't seen as sexual. Nudity wasn't seen as sexual. The Hawaiian language includes many specific and erotic phrases. The Hawaiian language includes many specific and erotic phrases. Ancient Hawaiians had many names for different types of relationships. There were many different types of relationships held by the ancient Hawaiians, and most of them had their own name in the Hawaiian language. There were plural relationships polyamorous and polygamous, in which the responsibility for the children was shared. Same-sex marriages were accepted within Hawaiian society and were called aikane. There were the spirit lovers known as Kano Kapo and Mahino Kapo. They also had the non-sexual but emotionally tender relationship called Kane Ha Kane or Wahine Ha Wahine. Those who shared a mate or long-term lover had a relationship referred to as Panalua. Temporary spouse swapping was a common pastime. In ancient Hawaii, non-royal adults often played a wife-swapping game called Yum. To play the game, a group would sit in a circle, and a man with a long wand trimmed with bird feathers picked out one man and one woman. Whether or not they were married, the chosen couple would then depart to enjoy each other's company. Jealousy was ostensibly a non-issue because, if the participants were married, their spouses knew they would have the same chance of being chosen. After one night, the couples would be reunited. For outsiders, EUI was a mysterious ceremony. EUI, an ancient traditional ceremony involving a purifying swim in the ocean, has historically confused those outside of Hawaiian culture. Many cultural guides tell tourists that simply being cleansed with salt water will purify them, but the actual Hiyuwai ceremony takes place once a year and is much more involved. Hiyuwai is a celebration held during the Hawaiian month of Welahu, which corresponds to the time period much of the world knows as November. Hiyuwai consists of a frenzied, splashing bath in the sea from midnight until daybreak followed by a grand feast the next day. Although the event is not overtly sexual, one observer in 1830 wrote that with all of the excitement, the lavish and beautiful objects people had adorned themselves with, and the darkness all around, people became attracted to each other. Ancient Hawaii recognized and celebrated transgender people. As did many ancient civilizations from around the world, the ancient Hawaiians recognized a third gender that they called Mahu. The word simply means someone in the middle of the typical gender binary. The term was generally used to refer to those born biologically male but who lived and identified as women. In pre-missionary times, Mahus were accepted, and even revered within the community, however, general suppression of Hawaiian culture over time led to a significant loss in acceptance for those who did not identify as their assigned gender. European visitors' new ideas and moral codes drastically affected Hawaiian culture. The settlers and missionaries who came to Hawaii irrevocably altered the traditionally open-minded ways of the Hawaiian people. They introduced concepts such as sex work, adultery, illegitimate children, and sin, which had lasting effects on the culture. There was no distinction between expressions of sexuality and everyday activities. In modern times, society sees expressions of sexuality as something very private, which people keep separate from their public activities. But in ancient Hawaii, sexuality was present almost everywhere. People wove sexual references into dances, chants, and the names of places. 
For ancient Hawaiians, pleasure was something to balance openly alongside family, religion, and the land. The Hawaiian language is also full of words and phrases that are loaded with sensual expression. For example, Kyuko Yumi Ol translates to unrestrained desire, and Hope Loa Kakalu Akino mean the ultimate physical union. High-ranking chiefs often had intimate relationships with family members. High-ranking chiefs often had intimate relationships with family members. Food and eating entailed more rigid rules than sexuality. White settlers STI wiped out huge percentages of the native population. Children were given in-depth lessons about performance. Children were given in-depth lessons about performance. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.